Hi guys, I am going to do a couple of beachy foam grips quick. This is take two because I was interrupted earlier. Um, so my epoxy has now set. So I'm gonna have to mix some more and start fresh there. Um, these foam grips I'm going to paint first. I'm going to use the secrets line from treasures by the sea i will show you the colors i'm using in just a second i'm just mixing equal parts of a and b of my epoxy um, i'm using full rizzle for these so the secrets line I just have a little dot of each in one of these little art palettes from, actually I buy these like in a six pack at the Dollar Tree, but I'm going to use Sailor Secret, Calypso Secret, Sea Cult Secret, Paradise Secret, and I'm going to use Shady Secret and Beach Wash Secret for the browns at the bottom. Just a quick beachy. Um, I'm not going to give these any white like I would on most of my beach scenes. I'll show you what I mean. On this, I probably used more than those colors and did some white, like wave action. These are so small, I think I'm going to skip that step because it's difficult to do tiny. So you mix your epoxy for about three minutes. Um, equal parts A and B for this brand. Most brands are. There are a few that get measured by weight, not volume. Um, I put my part B, which is the hardener in the cup first, and put the resin on top, and then mix read your directions for your particular brand of epoxy follow them if you want make sure you scrape the bottoms and the sides really good and make sure you stop and scrape your stir stick off occasionally um, this is really more epoxy than I need for six grips so I may split this cup down some um, this Epoxy has an approximate 30 minute working time. Um, people came home and wanted to talk. So this was my first batch, which is, as you can see, no longer workable. Very warm. It's going to be cured hard in probably another 10 minutes or so. So I will start fresh. It's mixed. It's got a lot of bubbles. I'm just going to let it sit. Some of the bubbles will go away. This is what I'm working with. I order my phone grips directly from China, usually in batches of 100. I just got 100 white ones in yesterday, so I'm working with those. I like to work with them fully popped up. It gives you a good base to hold on to. To prep them, all I do is a little rag, a little 91% alcohol, and just wipe it quick to get any oils or anything off of the top. Super simple. And then let any excess evaporate quick. That's all there is to prep. So I have my colors in my palette. Hopefully they're still workable enough. These three I did earlier so they'd be dry so I could do both halves of this process all in one. Um, the bags from the phone grips, I don't reuse these for the grips. Um, if I don't rip them when I open them, I save them for something else. I put mine on little cards that I made. They fold over. This is one that I glittered last night. It slips onto the circle. Snap it down. And these are designed to perfectly fit the peg rack that they go on in my retail space. So that's how I package mine. Okay, so 
I'm ready to paint these. All I'm going to use is a couple of very small chippy brushes. These are one inch. Um, chip brushes work great for these paints. Um, inexpensive, you can get them anywhere. If you order from the company, sometimes you get pretty colored ones. These I just happened to pick up at AC Moore. They're the store brand and the store is going out of business. So they were pretty cheap. All right. So I'm just going to get a little of each brown loaded on my brush. There's no fancy technique here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to swipe some color on. If you feel it's too dark, load up with some of the lighter. I might need to add a little bit of the light because I am starting to dry out just a little bit. These paints are mineral based. They are made by a couple in Florida and they dry super, super fast, which makes them great for most projects. Actually, I haven't met a project I can't use them for yet. So there's one. You just want to do, you know, maybe the bottom third at most. For the beachy color. whatever to your liking. Okay. I am wearing gloves because I'm going to work with epoxy. The paint washes right off super easily. It's just, I do have a contact allergy to epoxy, so I keep my gloves on. And then load up some of your blues. Blot it down a little bit. You don't have to wait for the brown to dry or anything fancy. I'm going to angle the brush a little bit to make sure I get the dark and the light. And then just brush it on. Um, on wood, these will dry in like 90 seconds. Um, because these are going on a plastic, they're going to take a tiny bit longer. Um, I can hit them with the heat gun gently to speed it up if I need to when I get to that point. So I'm just going to set the wet ones aside so I don't accidentally pick up one of the wet ones when I need a dry one in a minute here. Same thing, load up again and get started. I'm not getting much of that light color down here. These paints blend fantastic together. You don't need to be an artist or anything to make a project like this work. I will get the link in the description to um, Treasures by the Sea Facebook group as well as their shopping site. I think I want to get a little more of the mix in this one. I didn't get a lot of that sea cult. Okay. And one more. Just blend them on. It's really just that simple. Okay. So I can set that aside for now. Um, I'll wash the brushes on the palette later. I've got quite a pile of brushes and things I need to wash. All right, I'm going to split this epoxy in two because it doesn't take, I mixed up 15 milliliters because um, I have pumps on my epoxy that distribute about seven and a half per side. I'm just going to use a tiny sprinkle of this like opaly generic glitter. This one's called Disco. Um, 
I don't want a ton. I, I really just want like 13 pieces of glitter on each grip just to give it a little sparkle. So tiniest, tiniest bit. Um, the opal glitters are kind of nice because they don't take away from the project. They just play off the colors that are there. So I do use this glitter on a lot of my phone grips, especially ones that are just a picture decal. So there's that. Now it's just going to take a tiny bit of epoxy. I'm just going to smooth it on. You don't want so much that it runs off of the sides. Um, if you get one that the epoxy runs over, you need to clean it up basically immediately because um, once it cures on a part of the grip you didn't want it on, it's pretty much a done deal. They are next to impossible to clean up. You can sand like around the edges if it hangs over a little bit, but if it drips down, you're pretty much done. So there's that and you can see the difference, how nice they look. Um, I do have some bubbles in my epoxy, so I'm going to torch over these super quick once they're all done. Um, and I'm going to do with the rest of the epoxy, just a couple more glittered ones. I'm doing these ones for a specific reason. If you feel like you have too much epoxy where it's going to run, scoop some up back off. It takes a little bit to learn how much you're going to need for a certain project and Working with epoxy is not for everyone. Epoxy does self-level, so as long as your surface is fairly flat, you don't have to worry about it. But it's literally like that much of a scoop on the end of a standard size popsicle stick for each grip. Maybe half again as much as I started with. You know, a tiny bit more. They don't need to be huge and thick and fat. It will self-level. It will um, not like dome high, but if you don't go overboard, it will pull back in from the edges a little bit and create a little bit of a dome effect. So... Now, I did, when I opened one of my bottles, squirt a little bit. I'll be able to clean that up when it's done. So, those three are all set. These are going to get a tiny decal. Hopefully, I'll be able to cut what I want to put on these small enough to go over the top. Um, after this layer is dry tomorrow, I'll go ahead and decal them and then probably put... A very very thin clear coat over them so these are still wet again plastic takes longer to dry um, so I'm gonna hit it with heat gun quick see if I can't speed the process along you don't want to hit it too hard with the heat gun or too close because it will bubble the paint a little bit but you can see how quick it's drying with the heat I don't know if you can see the difference in the sheen but that's it. That one's dry and ready for epoxy, just like that. Maybe if I hold it at an angle, you'll be able to see the sheen go away. Keep it moving. I don't want it to bubble, and I don't want it to crackle. But just like that, they're ready to go.
So I can go ahead and do the epoxy on these ones now. And even this extra epoxy in this cup, I will um, add a different glitter to and use. There's no sense in wasting it. And I just want to do six of this style because I have a couple other styles in mind. Now you can see where it was a little wet under there still. It's not the end of the world. It just dragged a little bit of the darker blue down. It'll be fine. Because I actually hit that part with the stick. This one looks a little drier, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one next. And this one, it is shifting some of the paint around a little bit also. Not the end of the world. The only thing I don't really want to do is contaminate the cup of epoxy. Because I'd like to be able to use the leftover. So... There's that one. Um, you can see where I got a little bit of paint on it. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe that off on a rag real quick. Because I don't want to waste another popsicle stick either. Um, okay. Last one. I use these paints for the background on just about all of my beach, well, unless I'm using alcohol inks, I use these for all of my beach items. So that's that. Six phone grips, super quick. Three of them start to finish. I don't like where this looks a little blue over the um, brown, so I may try and scrape that off a little bit. It's giving the sand a little bit of a tint. So I'm just going to go ahead and scrape that off. Wipe the stick back off. You can see how that was a sea foamy green. Then I'm just going to get a little bit of the epoxy and redo the bottom part. And that's it. Fixed. No problem. None of them look the same. They're all slightly different and they are all beautiful. Again, I'm going to torch them real quick. Um, handy dandy little butane torch. You don't want to get too much heat on them. It will cause the epoxy to scorch. Um, just enough to get some of the bubbles out. You can probably see some of the bubbles in there hopefully um when you torch you want to keep it moving um this one has a ton of bubbles you can probably see them best up here over the sailor secret um you want to keep your torch moving fast so i will do that quick and draw the bubbles out hopefully you can see them disappearing that quick and that easy it does heat the epoxy up so you don't want to um now's not the time to tilt them side to side so that is it those are my little beach vibe phone grips and thanks for watching